And now it's time for today's daily forecast with EPA WA meteorologist Bobby Martridge. Hey, good Monday morning to you. It is the first day of October 2018, and typically when you think of the month of October, you think of the leaves changing colors, and uh, we're getting into a more of an autumn feel. Uh, but that is not going to be the case for at least the first two weeks of October. We're expecting at least slightly above average temperatures, if not completely above, and we'll have times that we'll see uh, temperatures 5 to 10 degrees above average. It's going to be very common over the next couple of weeks uh, with a ridge that's going to be uh, over the southeastern United States and eventually over the entire eastern United States. So we will have some warm uh, weather to continue uh, to contend with over the next couple of weeks. But I don't want to give you the idea this is we're not talking about summertime heat where we're talking about upper 80s, 90s, nothing like that. But upper 70s to low 80s will be common across the region on uh, many of those days over the next couple of weeks. So just keep that in mind. We'll be above average. Normally, uh, average right now is about 10 degrees cooler than that. So uh, upper 60s to lower 70s across the entire region. Uh, so we'll be warmer than average, and uh, that looks like it's going to go for about the first two weeks of October. So we do have a warm front looking at today off to the north, and that is cutting right through central uh, New York and into parts of New England. So any showers associated with that will be off, off to the north, but you'll be close enough in proximity to that up here in northeast PA, especially maybe northern parts of northern New Jersey, where you'll have... Uh, uh, mostly cloudy skies because of the close proximity to that front. Further south you go today, we'll have less clouds. Uh, expecting partly cloudy skies down here by Philadelphia over to Lancaster and places like that. Kind of in the middle, you'll be like uh, kind of iffy in the middle of uh, partly cloudy and at times mostly cloudy uh, with, that, uh, with that front close proximity. So keep that in mind today. Uh, don't expect any precipitation though from this. Uh, if you were going to see something, it would be very stray and right along the new, closest to the New York-Pennsylvania border. Uh, this warm front will continue off to the north overnight, lift off to the north as the system driving it out here in the Great Lakes moves eastward. This is going to bring a cold front in, in through our region here later in the day on Tuesday. So Tuesday starts off partly cloudy and then increasing clouds in the afternoon. And then late in the day, you have an opportunity for isolated to scattered showers and thunderstorms. But we have, we go, this is looking at it's going to, like it's going to affect a good portion of the area, but we go over to the NAM high res feature simulator radar and start this off at 2 p.m. on Tuesday. We can see some uh, just isolated stuff across the far northern areas. And then as we move through time, you see some uh, more scattered showers and thunderstorms at 5 p.m. on Tuesday uh, across north central Pennsylvania and parts of northeast PA. And that moves a little bit further to the south, but this is 8 p.m. It's just basically saying that it's going to be off on in our northern sections here. If you cross-section our coverage area in half, just the northern sections are dealing with the scattered showers and thunderstorms. And then uh, as you get to 11 p.m., you don't see anything. It's kind of dying off and nothing really left after this. Okay, so it falls apart when it gets approaching, it approaches our central regions and then doesn't even get to the southern regions. Now, we're not going to take, take the thread out entirely from the southern areas because... Uh, this is the NAM, and it can, it can uh, sometimes be wrong in its depiction of where exactly the precipitation is going to be. So we'll keep at least isolated chances of the forecast for down here, more scattered up further north. And, of course, that is after a mostly dry day. This is later in the day on Tuesday with that cold front as it moves through. And then that will dwindle overnight as that moves through. And you can see that here. Uh, as we get into Wednesday, though, we have partly and mostly sunny skies behind this. No real cold air push behind this front, though, because there's... There's just no deep trough moving in here. We're talking about temperatures going from 78, 80 degrees, something like that today, back down to the middle 70s, maybe 75, 76, 77, something like that here on Wednesday with high pressure control. It'll be a nice day, however, uh, just not a really uh, real cold air push behind that front. And then once we get to Thursday, we have another quick moving front moving to the south and east, and we'll have late day uh, or evening showers and thunderstorms, again, mainly favor those same areas, northern areas, maybe to the central areas, and that's it. And then it falls apart. It's another weak front moving through. Again, behind this, doesn't really do too much of the temperatures. But this front this time is projected to kind of stall south of the region, just like this. And so since it's so close, we're going to keep it mostly cloudy here on Friday. And uh, that may linger into Saturday as well. But even though we're not getting precipitation in the forecast, maybe a stray shower here on Saturday, but still mostly cloudy. And then we get back to partly cloudy skies here on Monday or on Sunday. Uh, as high pressure builds into the region. But uh, we do have at least the, the risk for more clouds than sun on Friday and Saturday. But it doesn't look like we have too much rain to deal with this week. We have best shots are going to be on Tuesday uh, evening or thereabout. And then again on uh, on Thursday, same time frame, evening. Uh, but it uh, looks like both chances are going to be further for the interior. And they're going to be more scattered rather than concentrated. Mm -hmm. I'm Eastern PA with Authority Meteorologist Bobby Marchers. That is our outlook for October 1st, 2018. Have a great Monday.